back with my most popular types of videos, BuzzFeed and Solid Reactions. So we're going to be looking at the horrifying unsolved slaughter at the, at the Hinter Kaipak Farm. You know, I think Hinter Kaipak, I think Hinter means behind, it, it, if I recall correctly, it means behind, so Hinter, it means like behind Kaipak, which is like the town, I think. I got that from the lore episode. Let's watch this. Three, two, one, play. So what's the name of this one? This story, in my opinion, may actually be creepier than the last one. On the evening of March 31st, 1922, six residents of the Hinterkaifeck farm in Bavaria, Germany were murdered with a pickaxe. Husband and wife, Andreas and Kazila Gruber, their widowed daughter, Victoria, and Victoria's two children, Kazila and Josef as well as the Gruber family made Maria Baumgartner. I couldn't find like a super credible news source that covered this, but there are so many accounts of it online, it obviously happened. So this is just fucking fan fiction. <laughs> no, this is no like, it's, <laughs> it's murder! Pictures. There's pictures and there's like records of it in Germany. You work at BuzzFeed and you don't know that you can't doctor pictures? Dude, these aren't doctored. Okay, all right, let's get into it. Just to Not get everyone had the, the scene. Had skill to Joseph was murdered like, in his crib. To fake gum um, back in the day. Was murdered in her bed. The rest of the family, though, had been slaughtered in the family barn. So four of the families killed in the barn, and then the baby, two-year-old, and the maid are left killed in their beds. Exactly. Oh. So for some reason, the rest of the family was killed in the barn, and they were found stacked on top of each other. Safe to assume they weren't already stacked on top of each other and then killed <laughs> but they were killed and then stacked on top it, it, of each other. And he killed them all in one fatal strike. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it didn't happen that way. This is where shit starts to get fucking creepy. Okay. Whoever did this, and this is honestly just disgusting, actually stayed in the house for several days after he murdered the entire family. And we know that I wouldn't say disgusting, I would say sketchy. Murders, cattle were still being fed. Meals were being eaten in the kitchen. Neighbors reported seeing smoke rising from the chimney. And then the family dog was tied up outside the barn when the postman came on Saturday. The bodies were discovered, by the way, the next day on Sunday. So that's why he moved them to the barn, so he could continue <laughs> living in the house. I just feel like you murder an entire family, you want to get away from them. <laughs> this guy felt the need to make himself a sandwich. Anyways, another creepy well, it was detail. A pretty that isolated Maria, building. The family maid who was murdered An isolated in house. She had just been hired that day. That was her first day on the job. To replace the previous maid who quit six months earlier due to the house being haunted. You wanna know some of the things that caused the other maid to quit? No. The other maid claimed <laughs> she heard footsteps in the attic, voices, things like that. You know, classic ghost story shit. So she quit and the family dismissed her as just another wacky lady with wacky thoughts. You know, see you later. But surprise, six months later, now the family starts hearing footsteps in the attic. And then Mr. Gruber, you know, the head of the household. He finds an unfamiliar newspaper in the house that he'd never seen before. The set of house keys go missing. Mm. He also finds that the family tool shed has been scratched up, it's like someone tried to pick the lock. Is that where they kept the pickaxe? Exactly. No! Really? They kept the pickaxe in a tool shed? Where else would you get to keep a pickaxe? And finally, footprints are discovered by Mr. Gruber in the snow leading to the back of the house coming from the woods, but there's no return footsteps. They just go straight to the house. Whoever walked into the house didn't walk back. There was no money taken uh, because there was large sums of cash found on the farm, so they were pretty sure that this was a crime of passion. For suspects, they really only had one legitimate guy, and it was their neighbor, Lorenz Schlittenbauer. It can't be the neighbor. Think about it practically. If he's running his own farm, when does he have time to live in someone else's house and like wake up in the morning to feed his cows. It's a <laughs> six man job that one person was doing. I think he might have been a bachelor. I believe that Victoria's son, Yosef. Two year old. Yeah, the two year old. He thought it was his son. He'd been intimate with Victoria. I think that was the, uh, uh, the, son was the later theory. The theory belonged to Andreas Gruber. What? Yosef was the product of incest, meaning <laughs> Andreas Gruber played the horrifying role of father and grandfather. Oh my god. Off this week of serious bad luck for this family. When the family's heads were removed to be studied in the autopsy, they lost the heads. So that How do you lose heads? Buried headless. Dude, it's 1922. How do you heads lose? get lost. That's six heads. That's so many heads. How Where are the heads? Uh, government, man. <laughs> what happened to the house after? Did anyone move in? They demolished it a year after the crime had happened, mm. just so there's not this 
terrible monument of murder in their neighborhood, and they put a actually just a monument now, like a literal monument. That's nice to commemorate the family. I'm just trying to find out who did it, who done it. That's the question. I think it might have been yeah, Lawrence. I mean, still unsolved, and uh, I don't think it ever will be solved. Okay, so the whole Lawrence thing, people thought that he was Joseph's dad, Joseph's dad, but apparently it was incest, and that turned into Game of Thrones real quick. So maybe uh, Lawrence and Victoria had a relationship, then they found out about the incest, and went ape shit, and then felt bad about the animals. Let me see what a comment section is. It's crazy how they went from 5 minute episodes to 30 minute episodes. Yep. Okay, so... Me. Scared someone... Scared that someone might be living in the attic. Also me doesn't even have an attic. I don't think I have an attic. Yeah, I kind of want this. Someone called Cal Pal wants their them to do a remake of this, and I agree with you, Cal Pal. So I'm giving you a thumbs up. So serious. So what do you guys think happened to the freaking heads? I'll see.